Today's lesson is all about balance. And if you want to do something really well that will last for life, you learn it in baby steps. You won't find children in here saying that cabbages come from Asda. They come from the ground because they planted them. They'll have harvested them. And they'll also be taking them home to show their mums and dads what they've done. We do see a lot more children who are overweight and, and, and families who do need some help with actually providing the correct nutritional needs for their, for their children. From little seedlings, bigger plants can grow and that's the idea of starting children when they're very young to understand about health, nutrition and of course growing your own food. That's the whole idea behind Grub for Life. In the UK we've got the fattest kids in Europe. One in five is obese. And here in South Acton, it's a typically diverse community, a sort of microcosm of the world outside. But here, they're trying to reverse the obesity trend. They're addressing the problem at the very root, through food, learning about it, growing it, eating it, by embracing the Grub for Life programme. Here, little hands make light work of preparing a fruit salad. These children are preschool, but the basics of nutrition and healthy eating are being learned for life in fun activities that'll set them up for taking healthier options and leading healthier lives, even teaching mum and dad a thing or two. Wake up first, play black. Strawberries. Strawberries. Bananas and bananas. Anything, and, anything else? Who else has cut one. something else? What else have you cut up? Oranges. Oh, we started cooking, but we done. We did. Wish. Wash our hands. Because later everybody will eat it. Yes, we all are going to taste it. So, I mean, so the idea is, I suppose, that um, they're going to get to experience here of something they might not get at home. Yes, yes. Do you tend to find that some children really are experiencing, I don't know, fresh fruit, good foods for yes, the first time? Definitely, definitely. But it isn't just the fresh fruit. It's a different variety of fresh fruits. And also, then another day they'll be doing different vegetables and using them as crudités and making dips and sauces. So it's, it's sweet things as well as savoury things. So it's giving them the experience of all sorts of different things. Here's the width of things. They may very well do some of this at home, but they probably won't have the actual width of experience that they're getting here. And you're never too young to develop a taste for good, wholesome food, low in salt, sugar and unwanted, nasty additives. And you'll love it if you're given it from the start. So what's on the recipe today? Is it, so it looks like shepherd's pie to me, yeah? Shepherd's pie, carrot, cauliflower. Good enough to eat. It smells nice. Everything you can open your mouth for me, Ari and Jaden. Oh, well done. So, Nigel, we got we got babies here, um, and the nutrition starts even in babyhood. Absolutely, the children start here at six months. So, very often we're working with the parents to help them through the weaning process, mm -hmm. which can be a particularly diff difficult time. Then, of course, at each stage, as we move on to toddlers and even on to family food, we go through all the problems of fussy eaters, of um, preference changing, of using challenging and refusing food as a, as a weapon against mum, and all of those things. We work with the staff here and the parents to help them get through it and just make good food and enjoying food a normal part of life. Fruit and veg is enjoyed with as much relish as other kids munch crisps and biscuits. It's simply part of everyday life. Do you like apple or banana? So here we seem to have a bunch of kids who, um, well they don't seem to question the fact that they're being offered fruit. They're not being offered crisps or biscuits like you would get in a lot of nursery schools. It's fruit. What's behind that sort of philosophy, that approach? Really simple. A basic foundation of good nutrition starts at an early age and good health is, is the foundation for education. We really believe, start at the beginning, we've got children here from six months old to five years. We have weaning menus, toddler menus, family food menus, all of which include 
fruit and vegetables as a matter of course. There's nothing exciting about it. It's just simple common sense and good nutrition from day one. And you think that, given that it is very simple information, would be easy enough to just filter into every nursery school in the land. Why does it need sort of special encouragement, special attention? The role of a children's centre is so broad and so vast that uh, we really feel providing a nutrition tool like Grub for Life means that it's something that can be put into practice very, very simply. The toolkit is there to pick up and start working with. It's taken three dietitians six months to put this together. How on earth inexperienced um, teaching staff with no nutritional background are supposed to do this on their own? I don't know. So it's a toolkit to pick up and start working with right from the beginning. These were basic lessons of life in the old days, but somewhere along the line, we seem to have forgotten how to grow, cook and eat simply but well. We've got to learn it over again to safeguard the next generation. So here, Grub for Life has carefully worked it all out. Everyone gets more than their five a day in colourful, tasty, imaginative meals that appeal to all. Here, kids happily eat cauliflower, sprouts, courgettes, mushrooms and peppers. Foods that would send many other kids screaming all the way back to their pot noodles and chips.